Everyone, for those of you new to Doha, welcome to Doha. It's a lovely day for you as well. My name is Kamal Santa Maria. I am a uh, news anchor at the Al Jazeera English Channel. Um, and please forgive me ahead of time. I've been sick for the last week or so, so hopefully the voice will last throughout the whole uh, event today. Um, welcome to uh, Al Jazeera's New Media Unplugged event here at the Al Jazeera Forum. Good to see so many of you here earlier. We're on right until about six o'clock tonight, so. Hopefully we'll get a lot more people coming and going uh, as the day goes on. Uh, I just want to start with a brief introduction before I introduce our guests. Um, my job is to read the news, essentially. I'm a news anchor, I'm an interviewer. My role as an interviewer and as a journalist is, of course, to play devil's advocate, to look at something from both sides, to, to plant questions, to sow the seeds of doubt, to always keep questioning, just keep questioning all the time. And to be honest, I take the same attitude towards this forum, towards new media as well. I've been a TV journalist for 12 years. Um, I began in the analog era before uh, any of this fancy digital stuff began. I am unashamedly old media. I come from that background. Um, it reminds me of, and this is going to be a bizarre quote for some of you, but it's a television show called 30 Rock on, uh, in the United States, which is about uh, behind the scenes of our television show. And one of the characters was a little bit simple to be fair, but his quote was, he said, I just, I just love television so much. And I can honestly say I love television as well. I love the power of television. I love what it can do, brings people together. Times of crisis. We all know we were where we were on 9-11 uh, and there's a very good chance we were around a television. Having said all that, not to completely scupper this whole event today, I really appreciate new media. I see what it's doing. I see the power that it has. I use it myself, thanks to uh, Riyadh, wherever he is, <coughs> one of our new media guys from Al Jazeera. Uh, I'm now tweeting successfully. And I think the key, and I'm sure you all understand this as well, the key is going to be how we work together, how the old and new media come together. So that there isn't old and new media, there was just an evolving media which we all harness the power of each of these things. I worked on a special project with Al Jazeera English called the Iran Desk during the elections, <coughs> excuse me, last year where we found, when you can't get information out by the usual means, new media becomes very important. The information we could glean from Twitter and Facebook, just those two alone, and YouTube as well, changed our coverage, I think, forever. It was a watershed moment where we decided, right, we've got to work together here, because this way we can make one really, really good product. So I'm the type of person that's harnessed and exploited and, and, and realised, and we see a full picture, and as much of the new media questions what we do, the mainstream media, I feel as much we should be questioning what uh, the new media does as well. I'm going to pop up here throughout the day introducing guests. We're going to have question and answer sessions. We'll take guests' questions from the audience as well. Right now, though, I'd like to introduce uh, the Director General of the Al Jazeera Network, Mr. Wada Khanfa, who has an announcement to make. Things that normally we dress, it 
does not look very friendly. And, you know, I am standing in front of someone with a gun. And I'm running, carrying a gun, pointing straight to my head. I wanted to communicate with him, I could not. Luckily, our translator, in a few minutes, he came. And then he started speaking to them. But the man was himself scared, because he was a Tajik in a Bishkun land. And this Tajik translator, he started telling me in English that these people are going to kill us. I said, why? He said, I heard them, because few of them joined now the camp, that they are going to kill us and throw us in the river. And I know that they are serious. They are speaking in Bishkun. And the man was literally in a state of shock. And he was, you know, about to collapse. I said, don't, don't worry. Let us talk to them. Keep talking. So the man started talking to them, saying, no, we are journalists. They said, what do you mean we are journalists? You are Americans. He said, no, we are not Americans. We are just helping. He said, no, you are not. Because the Americans at that time announced that they are going to destroy the fields. And therefore, to destroy the fields for them, it means to destroy their main source of income. And they, the guys thought that we are through this camera, this machine, which we are pointing to the field, we are destroying their, you know, uh, uh, course. We said, no, we are not doing so, this is a camera, we are journalists, we are this, we are that, and we engage. They said, if you are not Americans, why are you dressing like this? Like what? In a shirt and the trousers. This is the dress of the kuffar, it's not the dress of Muslims. We said, no, because you see, I could not understand how to answer the question, because for them, dressing in a foreign clothes like that, in a mountain, in a village in a mountain, that have never, never maybe seen any foreign, is something also suspicious. So I said, simply, we are dressing like this because we are hiding from the Americans, you know. We are supposed to dress like you, but we thought that the Americans catch us. We are just trying to be. So I said, and this machine you are carrying in your hand, you are destroying. I said, no, this is not a machine, this is a camera. He said, what is this? Then I came to my mind, let me show them. So I put the viewfinder on their side and I played the tape. And then they were looking at themselves suddenly in that screen. And then they went to the... laugh. They started laughing. They see themselves inside the camera. For the first time ever, they see themselves through viewfinder. They have never seen a camera. They have never... That was a new media for them at that moment in time, which is not at all for the rest of the world. I started with this story to say, I do not really believe. I argue that there is nothing called the new media and old media. There is nothing called traditional and not. Since the carrier pigeon until our time, this is a continuous, evolving, developing phenomena in history that started for an urgent need of communicating. The issue that we are standing today in order to discuss with you, how could we, journalists, people who use all platforms of communication, develop and enhance our mission and our message and our substance and content so we may eventually accomplish what our audience, regardless of that audience, is on social networks, mass media, or individual communications, what our audience actually would benefit from. The most important issue in our profession, as I understood it, is to have a mission, not just to continue communicating without a mission. Mission is central to our profession and central to the concept of communication, be it professionally you know, organized or be it individually initiated. It is the message and it is the mission. We need to accept this principle before we create any kind of dialogue with anyone who is communicating with anyone else. When we started Al Jazeera in 1996, also again, Al Jazeera was a new media in this part of the world if you would like to use the term. Because Al Jazeera as a phenomena, as a style, adhering to certain principles, it was something new. People have not seen before that. 
on a form of communication related to news in particular. Now, of course, we had a lot of channels, but none of them were dedicated to news. It was the mission. It was the click with the audience. It was the understanding of the collective mind of the people. It was your courage as a journalist to defend the right of people for knowledge. It was the courage of journalists to defy centers of power. And it was the courage of journalists to accept the marginalized and the voiceless as a source of inspiration and a source of pride for us. That's what led to the success of Al Jazeera. It was never centers of power that put us as the most credible source of information for the Arab world. It was the dedication of our journalists to be true towards their audience and to go out from the center to the margin and to discover the canvas within our societies, the canvas that defies authoritarian rule, that defies corruption, that defies that the human being becomes a commodity, that defies the fact that the human being in our countries is deprived from his right not to express his view, but even to think about the new views or new alternatives. This is why the message and the vision and the mission made Al Jazeera what Al Jazeera is all about. And I believe that this is true for any platform. If it is not Al Jazeera, if it is those who are using social networking or those who are using you know, mobile phones or who are using any kind of communication, internet, Websites, it is true. It is the mission. It is the message. It is the content. It is the substance that we should be concerned about. There are new platforms, new techniques, new ways of communication. We are going to embrace that. Because I view new media in the Arab world in particular as a great opportunity of defying authoritarian and central monopoly over information. We have seen through our colleagues who are using mobile phones and using their you know, blogs and so on and so forth, we have got from them a lot of resources in a news gathering, and they have reached areas where we could not. They have been able to communicate with the public in every street in some of our capitals where we could not because our professional camera people could not go. We have been able to get images and pictures and the views and the news from demonstrations, from polling stations, and from many other places through our colleagues who are using these kind of techniques. So this is why I view this phenomena as a great opportunity for us to expand our horizon, to create new alliance, magnificent alliance, by the established organizations and by our new citizen reporters and all kind of people who are using these techniques. And that kind of alliance will deliver a great message that no one can from now on silence us. No one can from now on prevent us from not only reporting the news, but also even expressing our views when it is necessary. This is why we would like to be unplugged. We would like to unplug ourselves from the dominance of the state. We would like to unplug ourselves from commercialism as well. That is ruining us. It is not only authorities that are defining the integrity of reporting and the integrity of journalism. It is the lust for wealth that is unfortunately now taking over many of our corporations and trying to push our cameras and our pins in the direction of achieving more profit for the corporate owners. We need to unplug ourselves from that. Go back to a very simple fact. The great message need bold people, need courageous people to carry. And that will be appreciated. And that will be very popular. And that will be great achievement. And that when you sleep at night, you, will feel, you feel that you have fulfilled your mission towards yourself and towards your society. No journalism without a mission. No journalism without authenticity and no journalism as well, without responsibility and without ethics. Because some of us who are using the new media, again, the so-called, because always I'm worried about two terminology in discussion, 
the new issue. We need always to find out what is really new. And we have to be very worried about the, the, end, the end, the end, the end of democracy, the end of media, the end of this and the end of that. You know, history is perpetual. You cannot, at a single moment in history, say this is the end of a trend. And you cannot say also this is a beginning. You know, always you have seen it in, in that kind of circle. There are great trends in history that continue. Sometimes they speed up, sometimes they have diff different ways of expressing themselves, but it is not an issue of beginning and end, as if we had just arrived in this you know, universe and we have started new adventure. It is not absolutely correct. Now, going back to this point, I would like to announce that Al Jazeera will launch a new initiative, the Al Jazeera Initiative for Internet Freedom. Al Jazeera Initiative for Internet Freedom will consist of the following. Number one, that all our content will be free online, while people, organizations, corporations are busy finding ways and establishing paywalls for their content to generate money, we would like to declare that all our content will be available free online for anyone to use, to see, to watch, to communicate, and to reuse again. That is the first issue. The second one, I would like to announce that our Center for Human Rights, Al Jazeera Center for Human Rights, will put the issue of defending the right of our colleagues who are using, who are blogging, using all kinds of platforms of delivery of information and their opinion, we would like to establish a direct link with our center, a hotline if you like, or any kind of you know, direct communication, whereby anyone in the Arab world in particular and anywhere else in the world is put under pressure by a government or authority or being, you know, pressurized not to express his opinion, or his blog has been closed down, or he has been harassed, we will defend him. Al Jazeera screens in Arabic and English will take that as a cause in order to defend these colleagues and to stand with them and to put their news on our screens and give a priority. When it comes to these issues, we are not, you know, detached. When it comes to these issues of freedom, we have a cause. When it is freedom of our journalists and our colleagues, wherever they are in the world, then we have a cause to defend and to rally for and to run a campaign. And in that case, our Center for Human Rights will put that as his, you know, at the top of his priority. The second, the third one, I would like to announce that our training center will start training journalists and users of various platforms in the region on principles of professionalism, just for the sake of giving them a sense of how news can be sourced and how news could be delivered in a format that raises the standards of their work. We need that. We need everyone to use whatever he can in order to support our cause of free journalism and independent journalism, especially in the developing world and especially in the Arab world in particular. We are going through transformation. We cannot afford but to give the right information to the public. Otherwise, the grand choices of our societies may not be sound. If people do not have full knowledge of what is happening, they cannot choose for the future. This transformation in the Arab world needs a lot of support from us. And therefore, we will make that kind of alliance with everyone in this region who is active in this format of communication and we will put our resources under their disposal in order to give them training. The fourth one, we will also launch new programs of communication with all activists in the field who use all platforms of new media. 
we will provide them with tools, small cameras, mobile phones, and any other tool necessary in order to encourage them to participate in feeding the mainstream media with images, with pictures, and collecting in news. And we will give priority on our screens for that material in order to make it public. So we are really trying to make full alliance with this trend and with this phenomena incorporated within the same spirit that Al Jazeera launched in order to achieve and to accomplish. And therefore, this new initiative will be effective from today. And I hope that all of us will work together in order to achieve this target. I would like just to conclude by thanking everyone in participating in this forum. This is magnificent. And by the way, our guys have given me a nice letter. And they said, you should only read that one, because sometimes I go a little bit you know, of poor. But I must tell you, I have been from my, speaking from my heart, because really, I know the responsibility on us. News, especially in this part of the world, is a matter of life and death. It is not a matter of luxury. So whoever is using whatever platform, be aware that what you do, what you write, and what you say has effect on the ground. Some of us could use the cool platforms, magnificent ones and beautiful toys and everything like that. But they deliver wrong message, sectarian message, nationalistic message, hatred message. That is bad. Regardless if the tool is cool or not, the message is wrong. We need to be aware of the message. The message is very important. Once the message is right, whatever platform you are using, you are doing good. If the message is wrong, whatever platform you are doing, you are participating in deceiving and disinforming and creating a society and making a society that is not sound and that is not stable. Thank you very much.